Okay. So, please join me in recognizing not only my family service, but also the service of all the distinguished veterans that are present here today. Okay, so now let's not get this wrong. I love the Navy. There's no question, I love the Navy. 31 years ago when I began my career as a midshipman, along with Dave Hutton, Dave McLaughlin, I had tunnel vision. All I wanted to be was a naval aviator. If I wasn't going to fly, then I'm not going in. My older brother Mike had previously blazed the same trail, and I thought that if it was good enough for him, then it would be good enough for me. I have fond memories of my years at the University of Minnesota, and I ask Eric Eloff not to share many of them with you later on today. <laughs> uh, and what made it even more memorable though, memorable though was that uh, I was attending school with my older brother, Steve. Steve had just recently completed his four-year enlistment as a corpsman, medic, excuse me. Hoorah. <laughs> there you go. He's in two over here. You can talk to him later. Uh, he had just recently completed his four-year tour as a medic in the Army. And he was now going to college on the GI Bill. And you were also part of the ROTC unit there at the Armor. And uh, I was, as I was typing this up and working through it, I was going to, Steve and I, you remember walking to school that day in the, after the ice storm? We walked to school uphill both ways <laughs> after an ice storm against the wind. Don't shoot. Barefoot. Yeah, barefoot. Shoes on. Though. Barefoot. barefoot. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Just to register for our. Uh, spring semester or spring trimester classes. That's dedication. <laughs> As you know, the military provides you with unlimited opportunities and benefits, and I can probably say that I took advantage of many of them. A three-year ROTC scholarship, flight school, graduate school, and the Naval War College. 100% medical coverage and affordable family dental coverage. We pumped out four kids. And we had to take four sets of braces. So that helped. You did? Sorry. A little poetic license there. On base housing. Um, relieves the need for us to buy and sell a house every time we had a new set of orders or to have to deal with rental agents every time we were moving. And best of all, the opportunity to travel. I have sailed and flown my aircraft around the world, visiting six of the seven continents. We as a family completed more than a dozen major moves. And we call them major. We were having a discussion about this because we also did some minor moves in, in, in cities and had some friends help us get that. <coughs> Twelve major moves. Having lived on both the East and the West Coast, we lived in Tokyo, Japan, and recently we just completed an incredibly awesome tour in Athens, Greece. And no, it wasn't because the kids weren't with us. <laughs> it was just that it was a very fulfilling job. And finally, our hundreds of lifetime friendships, both in and out of the military, both in and out of the United States. We have many wonderful friends internationally, and that was an incredible benefit that we both have enjoyed. If there are benefits, then there are also costs, but not necessarily in a negative sense. One way you can measure the cost is by measuring the time you spend away from your family, also known as deployments. I remember when I was a young boy, I used to get pretty dang angry at my father for being gone so much. It really frustrated me, and I could not understand for the life of me why he kept on going away to one army commitment after another. I can honestly recall making the following vow. I will never do that to my children. Well, I am also now aware of the age-old saying, never say never. Upon graduating from Creighton High School, where I excelled in the military curriculum, Right here, my dad. Yes, I was. Top of my book. <laughs> I had stated to my mother that I would have nothing to do with the military. <laughs> Four years of junior ROTC was enough for me. Being the wise mother that she was, though, she simply smiled and kept doing her best to encourage me to visit the Armory at the U and look into the ROTC programs. Just see what they have to offer, she would say. Never. I'm done, I would say. 
obviously I came and did what she told me to do as all good sons are prone to do and uh, thankfully mom I, I'm, I'm very glad that I listened to you 31 years later here we are so you're the best thank you over the course of my 27 years of service I have made a total of five extended deployments four of them combat deployments and one cruise a joint multinational deployment around South America. I've been around the world and I have more than four years of time at sea or deployed away from my family. Four years. That's something to think about. When I was sworn in as an ensign, the world was in the middle of a cold war with the Soviet Union and the Persian Gulf was getting hotter by the year. My first deployment in 1988, as Joe well knows, was to the Gulf and I was flying escort missions for the reflagged oil tankers. We made sure that tankers made it into and out of the Gulf without being attacked by the Iraqis or the Iranians who were currently fighting each other. It was a pretty exciting deployment, but in the end I prayed that I or any of my family members would never have to go back to that part of the world. Never say never, right? It was following my first fleet tour that I returned home to Minnesota and took the time to talk with my dad about my experiences in the Navy up to this point. Here I was, a new lieutenant, with two young children and another on the way, and I was facing a real challenge. I really loved what I was doing, but I really hated leaving Ellen and the children. I shared with my dad that I finally understood what he kept going, why he kept going away on all those army commitments. Because he loved what he was doing, and what he was doing allowed him to for those that he loved. 